And I'm so excited because not only is it two of the most wonderful women in the world, one of them is Maggie's mom! Oh, no. began to very ostentatiously nudge me. And she said, in a stage whisper that carried to the back rows, Oh, you like Pat? <laughs> it seems my mother was trying to fix me up <laughs> with my brother-in-law, <laughs> which is actually an honored tradition in old Europe. I'm sure she was thinking about the fact that Henry VIII's first wife, Catherine of Aragon, was the widow of his brother, Henry VII, which didn't turn out all that great for Catherine, but at least she was just divorced and not beheaded. I responded with a classic spit take, and I said in an equally loud stage whisper, Mother, my husband just died. I am not yet at the point of eyeing his brother as a potential replacement. P.S. Patrick already has a wife. What are we, Mormons? But you know, I, I did want to get married again. I loved being married to Dennis. I loved having a partner in life. So about two years after Dennis died, I thought I might be ready to start dating. Now, this was way before dating apps. I don't know if there were websites or something. I had completely blocked out how it was that I ended up on a coffee date with an extraordinarily handsome man. We were having the getting to know you chat, and he told me he was an actor. I asked what I would have seen him in, and he said he played the title role in the movie Flesh Gordon. Oh, F-L-E. 
S H. I was on a coffee date with a softcore porn star. Well, of course, I had to go find a copy of the movie. You know, it's kind of cheesy. But it is also pretty damn hot. My second date with the flesh was rather flaccid. It was rather flaccid for both of us, really. So it was also our last date, which was all to the good, because that freed me up to meet my wonderful second husband, Tom. Yay! Dating after death <laughs> of a spouse. <laughs> Unlike my dear friend, I have yet to experience the exhilarating adventure of dating and dipping my toe into the cesspool. <laughs> I mean water. <laughs> I, yeah, you know what? I have to admit, it's been 13 years without a date. I was busy. <laughs> I was busy getting my daughter and myself through her high school years. And then I was busy getting my daughter and myself through her college years. And lucky me, she turned out to be the most fabulous young woman. <laughs> Also 
suggest that I audition for a new reality dating show for yes. old people yes. called The Golden Batch. Yes! Living your life. Oh my god, yeah, this summer. <laughs> <laughs> 